All right, we're here uh, with Lorenz Larkin, who's fighting tonight on uh, the Strike Force card, and he's actually getting his nails done. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me about it. I mean, is this like a ritual you do? Yeah, I get it done every every fight. You know, I, I get the, my bell done pink, and then uh, I get my nails done black and pink every fight. I guess it is like a little ritual. And you do you get like, I mean, I know with your hair, you do different things like color-wise and stuff like that. Do you do that with the nails? Get different colors? You always get the pink? No, I always get pink in my hair. Uh, oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, always, the bell's always pink, and then uh, my nails are black, pink, black, pink. Black, pink. Uh -huh. All right. So what other what other rituals do you have pre-fight? Um, uh, just make sure my hair is cut, and then uh, <laughs> my arms are shaved, yeah. things like that. I guess it's a little ritual. Yeah, no. Uh, everybody got to them. No, I mean, that's what, that's what, that's what you got to do. I mean, you get... The fighters have to get their nails like filed down, right? And everything yeah, like yeah, that. you can't come in long. Yeah, because I didn't really check that and yeah, everything. So. Cut them off. so yesterday was the the weigh-ins, and you know, you, you did some during the face-off. You did some like like you were gonna try to take them down. Uh, what, what was that? What were you trying to do? Uh, just making the pose like I was gonna shoot a double. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just I thought just, that might be funny. Well, there was. I mean, it was pretty pretty dull pretty much the whole weigh-in. So at least yeah. it added some entertainment there because. Everyone just kind of just stood up there, put their hands up, and walked away, yeah, and know, that was like, it. So it's always you gotta give them something, you know. It's like to me, it's like just like how I fight, you know. It's, if people are gonna come out to see me, then I'm gonna put on the best show that I can. Yeah. Put on, you know, and especially with the weigh-ins, you know that it's not so big right now. Our weigh-ins, you know, the strike force, but you know, right. bring some excitement, you know, to make fans want to come, come watch it, you know. Yeah, and Mo usually has a. He usually comes in with, with something for the weigh-ins. I mean, mm -hmm. I've seen him do where he's got the, the girls behind him and the girl holding the umbrella over his mm -hmm. head and stuff. So he came in pretty tame. So it was good to see you do something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring a little flavor to it. Yeah, for sure. Now, um, well, after the weigh-ins, what did you end up doing? Went Besides upstairs. eat? <laughs> yeah, I went upstairs and um, uh, ate some fruit and then chilled out for a little bit. For, for new people who were cutting weight, I'm going I'm to give you the, the secrets. If you cut weight, you don't go like gorge yourself with all these liquids and, and, and go eat a big meal. What you do is you, you drink some water, you drink your Pedialyte, you don't get too full and then you eat some fruit and you wait. I like to wait like two hours and mm -hmm. let it all sit. And then right after like two hours, you, you'll become real hungry. And then you go eat whatever you want. You go yeah. get a burger or you go eat, go to a buffet. We went to a buffet, but you know, if you just go straight after weigh-ins, drink a lot of water and, and then go eat like a big meal, you're going to throw it up. Trust me. Because your stomach's so so small and yeah. you're like depleted yourself, you know, with your water. So it's like you can't put in all that water back into you, you know. So that's that's the way I do it. Yeah. Now, do you typically cut a lot of weight? No, I cut like 15. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. I've seen people cutting 30 pounds. And yeah. That, and that's for my whole, like, I walk around like 220. Oh, okay. I'm really fat, 223. So, um... I like to, when I start my weight cut, like, I start the, like, the day before weigh-ins, after 5 o'clock, I won't eat or drink nothing. Okay. And, I, and then I start that at 2.15. So, so the day of weigh-ins, in the morning when I wake up, I'm like 2.13, 2.12. And then I just cut that sauna. Uh -huh. So it's, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah. Now, Strike Force is at least around for another year. Do um, you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, it's great. You know, I, I feel like um, I wanted them to stay, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's good and it gives everybody opportunities now, especially with the heavyweight division being gone. Yes. But it means just more fights, you know, and um, I think it's great. You know, I'm pumped. Now, the the light heavyweight division that doesn't have a, uh, a champion right now, uh -huh. you, there's been rumors going around that, you know, Gegard Mousasi had won last uh, event. The rumor is like the winner of you guys might get the, a fight with Musasi for the, the title. Any thoughts? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, whoever's going to be the winner out of tonight um, is going to fight Musasi for the belt. So you know, it's a good opportunity, especially for me. You know, oh, yeah. Me and, and I'm just taking a stride. You know, I'm happy about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, well, real quick, uh, any what, what do you think is going to happen tonight? I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, I think you know. My only prediction I can say is it's going to be it's going to be an exciting fight. Well, they usually are with you. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> and especially with both of our, you know, um, 
us being characters, you know, and, yeah. and, and us always going in the fight, you know. So I, I think it's going to be a real good fight, you know. And, and maybe the fight of the night. You know? Definitely. And, and this is a good card that was put together. There's a, there's a lot of exciting fights, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wagering that our fight is going to be it's gonna be really good. Now, with, 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 when you say fight of the night, do you... Has Strikeforce said anything to you about starting to do bonuses for that or not? No. Not yet? You know what? No. I wish. I mean, I know when... That was a question they asked Dana White when they did announce that Strikeforce was staying, and he said that it was something that they were going to start working on, so hopefully they, they do that. I mean, no. you guys deserve it just as much as oh, yeah. the UFC you guys know, do. I, I mean, we're under the same banner, yeah. you know, so I don't, I don't see why not, you know. And, um, I hope so, you know. I hope yeah. this is the beginning night to start. So. <laughs> yeah, they might they might surprise you. Yeah. I mean, Dana White's here, so. Oh yeah. He he was he was doing an interview with somebody. I I, I heard him. He was in Vegas, so. Oh, it, it, maybe he'll be at the the fights and Dana, surprise you guys. Him, please come. Please. <laughs> please well, uh, the um, any last thoughts you want to say? Like, uh, you want to thank anybody? Um, I just thank anybody who supports me and uh, I'm gonna make Val for doing this interview. Thanks. And, um, you know, I'm always happy when. Anybody wants to pay any attention to me, so <laughs> you know. So um, thanks for everybody who supports me and uh, that's behind me, you know. And, uh, right on. For all the people who don't like me, thank you. Because if you don't like me, then I'm doing something. You're right doing something. I'm, you know me, so no, I just thank everybody. Well, well, well thanks, man, and uh, good luck tonight. Oh, uh, thank you.